Let's check, it, check back in with Josh. And Josh, will the showers clear for the weekend? Well, Lachlan, the weekend is almost upon us. It looks like at this stage, the weekend, just a possible shower Saturday, clearing on Sunday, though. But the mild temperatures certainly here to stay. We'll look at that extended forecast in just a few moments. Of course, we're back live here at a very windy Kangaroo Point this evening. And, of course, we're here for February. Now, to tell us all about it, Paralympic superstar Rowan Crothers joins us tonight. And, Rowan, tell us what February is all about. February is all about stepping out of your comfort zone and challenging yourself, daring yourself to raise vital funds for people with disabilities. Now, buddy, if people at home tonight want to get involved, how do they do it? Well, they can sign up at february.com.au and pledge a dare and get their friends and family to donate to help us reach our goal of $100,000. Now, in case you didn't know, Rowan, this bloke, a little bit of a superstar, ranked number two in the world for the 400-metre freestyle. He won gold at the Commonwealth Games, and you're shooting for Rio 2016. How's the preparation going, mate? Um, training's going well. I'm swimming every day and a lot of laps, but hopefully it'll all pay off. Now, you, you've dared yourself to climb the bridge this evening. How do you think you're going to go? Oh, it'll be pretty tough on the legs with this wind and everything, but it should be good fun. Yeah, sorry about the wind, buddy. It's going to be a little bit tough up there, I think. Let's check the weather at your place and head straight to the satellite picture in and across parts of Australia. Storms have once again developed across Queensland and severe storm warnings were issued today across parts of the central highlands, the coalfields, the central coast and the wide bay. And that was for damaging winds and heavy rain. A moist air mass along the New South Wales coast is also causing low to mid-level cloud. On the synoptic chart, a coastal trough expected to enter Mackay waters during the day tomorrow and become slow moving into the evening. A strong high near Tasmania will extend a firm ridge along the east coast to the south of the coastal trough, pushing the surface trough over the interior westwards during the next couple of days. Now on the rain chart, most of the rain, showers and storms will be across the northern half of the state tomorrow and like we've seen in the past 24 hours, 100 millimetres of rain is possible in isolated areas with any storm activity. Capital City, Sydney looking at some morning drizzle. Melbourne, Adelaide mostly sunny. Perth currently experiencing severe heatwave conditions which will last well into next week. For Queensland tomorrow, the medium to high chance of showers and storms. Some patchy rain areas and locally heavy falls north of about Gladstone and Burketown with a slight to medium chance of showers elsewhere east of about Longreach. For the southeast, partly cloudy. The medium chance of showers most likely in the late morning and afternoon. Overnight temps fall to between 17 and 21. On the bay, winds will be south to south east, so 15 to 25 knots, reaching up to 30 knots at times. Brisbane tomorrow, a shower or two with temperatures below or close to average. On Saturday, just a possible shower, staying dry and partly cloudy over Sunday and Monday, and those temperatures will be remaining mild over the next few days. So a big thank you again to Rowan Crothers, who uh, is shooting for Rio 2016 in the Paralympic Games, mate. We wish you the best of luck. Don't forget, if you would like to get involved with February to dare yourself or someone else to raise money for Queenslanders living with disabilities, just go to fibradary.com.au. Guys, I can't tell you how hard that word is to pronounce <laughs> on live TV. Thank you, Josh, and good luck for the climb tonight. But that is 10 Eyewitness News for now. We'll be back tomorrow at 5.